Hi guys, oh my god, I'm so excited. This box literally came in an hour ago. This is the Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials collaboration palette and I bought this I think a week ago and I paid $45 Australian and then there was $20 with um, express shipping. So $65 all up, which I was more than happy to pay because I love Nikki Tutorial so much. I've been watching her for years. And guys, when I watch the actual reveal video, which I'll link down below in the description, if you want to go watch that um, and watch her talk about the palette and everything like that. Um, yeah, I loved it. I fell in love with the color story. I love, I just loved everything about it. So I had to get it. Um, but yeah, this is the box. So let's open it. Damn it, I don't have anything to open this with. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, wow, guys, look at the color of that. It says, hello, guys, it's me, Nikki. This is what it looks like. I love the bright colors. I mean, yeah, pink, red, orange, yes. All right, let's see what this, okay, back to BD School. Um, I don't know what that is. Have you heard about the tribe? I think this is just part of the Beauty Bay thing i don't really know what it is that's just a booklet that comes with it so guys this is what it looks like and i'm so excited because nikki did say that everyone who buys her palette will get a free pop socket um you either get the black one or the colorful one and i actually got the colorful one and i don't use these but i'm thinking of getting a new iphone cover because my one is really old and i'm thinking of getting a new iphone soon anyway so i might actually keep this if not i'll put this in one of my mystery style box giveaways so keep an eye out for that. Um, yeah, I'm so excited I actually got this one because if I was going to use it, I'd want the colorful one over the black one. And guys, this is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty. You can see my ring light in it. But I don't know if you can see, it's got like glitter all over the unicarton. It's such a beautiful packaging. I love this so much. That's a little message on the back. It's got a keyhole, um, which represents two sides, her darker side and her colorful side. And it's a pressed pigment palette. It's got a net weight of 2.3 grams. And that's per eyeshadow, guys. And there's 20 eyeshadows in this palette. Look at it. It says Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bake Lab. Oh my God, I'm so happy. So let's open it up. And guys, the inside of this is a beautiful fuchsia color. I love that. Guys, the palette is bubble wrapped, which I love. So guys, this is what the palette looks like. And guys, before I show you this palette, I just wanted to quickly mention this card. This card actually shows you exactly how you apply every shade, the best way to get the best pigment. So it's got the shade name and then it's got a picture of a brush or it's got a picture of a brush and a finger. So it's best to either use a packing brush or to apply with a finger on some of the shades. So that just helps you know exactly how to apply the shade in the best possible way. Then guys, there's a little message on the back and it says, I want you to make the most out of these gorgeous shades. So I want to show you how to master their full potential. Some of the formulas work best when applied with the shadow brush to build them up, while others work best when applied with the finger. Check out the symbols on the other side to see which. Have fun creating. So like I said, this is all the little symbols, brush and finger. So we'll try and use this when I do this makeup tutorial. The only problem with this guys is I might actually lose it. So it's just something that I wish maybe it was on the back of the palette or something like that, or maybe on the inside of the palette, like on one of these doors. I don't know. It's just something that I might lose, but I do like that she included that. Now guys, let's get into the palette. This palette, it's so beautiful. So it represents the light and colorful side. And then she's got the darker side of her personality. I love the packaging guys. To tell you the truth though, I wish the whole palette was kind of this pink. So guys, I just quickly turned the light down. Just why we look at this palette because it is very reflective and I wanted to show you exactly what it looks like but this is what it looks like it's so beautiful actual temple bit I don't know if you can see it's actually got glitter throughout the actual temple black bit here and then on this side it's also got glitter as well I kind of do like this side better just because I love color but I do like the actual packaging itself on the back it's just got the same message that it had on the back of the unicarton um, and yeah, it's just a simple back. I love it. Also guys, on the back, I just wanted to quickly mention this is a 12 months expiry palette. All right guys, so let's open her up. Do one side. Oh my God, look how pretty that is. Oh my God, that shade. Oh, yes. And then we've got this side. Oh, so pretty. Now it does come with one of these little palette condoms that I just throw away. But oh my God, this palette is so pretty. I mean, look at the shades in this. This 
This is a royal blue. I love that shade. This shade, now that shade is called Ill and she doesn't like green. Green is her least favorite color, but that to me, on camera, it shows up more of an aqua bluish green, but in person, that's actually more of a green tone than it actually shows up on camera. But oh my God, these two shimmers. When I saw these two shimmers and the way she swatched them, I had to get this palette just for those two shades. Those shades, Pride and Mama Tutorials. Then we've got the shade up here, Ivory. And then we've got Slasher. That is like a purple eggplant shade. And then guys, we've got this beautiful shade, Mika, Mika, Mika. Um, that's actually her younger brother who passed away. She wanted to do a red shade, which was his favorite color, I think. And she wanted to put it in the middle of the palette to kind of represent the heart of the palette, which I think is such a lovely tribute um, for her brother. And then we've got this beautiful, beautiful pink shimmer shade, which is Roxy Cant. I'll put that on the screen because I don't know if I'm saying that right. And then guys, we've got this duochrome. Oh my God, look at that. And that shade is all in one. Oh my God, let's do some swatches. I'm going to swatch Mama Tutorials. Oh my God, that's so creamy. Um, Pride, because why not? We've got Ivy, because, you know, I love shimmers. I'm going to swatch all the shimmers. We've got Roxy Cant. Oh my God. And then we've got one last one, which is All In, which is that duochrome. So I'm just going to swatch them quickly on the back of my hand. Oh my God, that's so pretty. They swatched amazingly. Oh, that blue one. Mama Tutorials, you killed it. Oh my goodness. So guys, that is the swatches there. And oh my God, that's so pretty. So we'll go from the bottom. The bottom one is All In. Then we've got Pride. We've got Mama Tutorials, Ivy. And then the very top one is Roxy Cat. And I'll just quickly do that one again because that was on my pinky. There we go, that's better. Oh my God, look how pretty that is, guys. So those are the shimmers. There is one more in here, which is underground. I just ran out of fingers, so I'll just quickly do that. Oh my God, look how pretty that is. Oh my God, guys, the shimmers are so buttery. And guys, I just wanted to quickly mention how big the pan sizes are. You are getting a lot of product for your money. So this is well worth $45 any day of the week. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna do my base, concealer, foundation, setting powder. I'm also gonna prime my eyes and do my eyebrows, and then we'll come back and we'll start the makeup tutorial. So I'll be right back, guys. So guys, let's get straight into it. I'm so excited. I mean, so many colors to choose from, and I wanna use quite a few colors in this tutorial because I wanna get a good sense of this palette and give you a good review, but I will be doing other makeup tutorials with this palette because I'm just so excited. Now, like I said, I really got this palette for this shade and this shade in particular, because I don't have that in any of my palettes. Pride and Mama tutorials, excited to try that. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. I've got all my new brushes here, so yay for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with this Morphe Sweetie X collaboration brush and I want to go in with some bold colors So I'm gonna go in with slasher this one here and I will probably do a cut crease as well to so you know So I'm gonna go straight in with that color and place that on the outer corner of my eye Just in the outer corner and just deepen that out um, I will go from dark to light in this makeup tutorial like I normally do Wow, look how pigmented that is. So pretty. I love this eggplant deep purple shade or aubergine as people call it. I hate the texture of eggplant. I do not like eggplant at all. Um, but this color is beautiful and it is blending out. It's so pretty. Mm. So guys, I want to talk about um, Nikki Tutorials and how much she means to me. I have been watching her for the last four or five years um, and I remember watching her coming out video I just finished work and it was about 4 30 4 5 30 in the morning and I was like oh what's this you know um, and when I was sitting there watching it I was like oh my god I've been watching her for so long and I had no idea and I was so proud of her and the fact that she actually had to come out in that video because people were gonna blackmail her was so sad, but I'm so happy that she got so much positive feedback over it and everything like that. 2020 has been hard for a lot of people, but this year, I think with this collaboration, with the coming out video, with just her in general, it's been a good year. I know she did just get robbed by gunpoint, her and her fiance, Dylan. 
um, a couple weeks ago, even a month ago now, and that shook her. But I think other than that, she's just killing the game right now, and I love her so much. Um, and like I said, I've been watching her for years. Yeah, her artistry is amazing, and her Halloween looks are amazing as well. So I'm excited to see that. And that's next month. So I'm back and I just finished applying that shade Slasher. Now I have had a little bit of blending issues. This shade is very pigmented. Only use a little bit and tap off the excess. So guys, be careful with the pigment because it is, yeah, as you can see, it's pigmented. And I think I packed it on too much in this area and this area. So it's a lot darker than what I wanted and it's not really blending out. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and blend it out with the shade Bend and Snap which is this beautiful pink shade. Um, and I'm just gonna hope for the best. I am gonna do a cut crease, but I think I still want this area blended out because the cut crease is not gonna hide that area. So I'm gonna go in with that shade blend and snap, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna try and blend it out a little bit and just lighten it up. And also guys, I'm trying to wing it out a little bit as well. Um, I don't know if I'm actually blending it out at all. Um, I don't know. Yeah. We'll continue. We'll continue with the look and we'll see. We'll see where it gets me. Just a little bit. A little bit more. Again, tapping off every single time because I'm trying to not have a repeat of what I've done with that purple shade. But wow, look how beautiful that has blended out. That pink is beautiful. So now I'm finished with that pink and I'm gonna go with a different brush. Same brush, but a clean version of it. And I'm gonna go in, oh, I don't know. Like I really wanna try this beautiful eel shade. Now in person, it's green. On camera, it's like aqua green. It, it's not showing up exactly as it's showing up in person. But I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye. Oh, so pigmented. All right. I don't know what this color is going to blend out with that pink. Hopefully it's not going to be like a weird brown color. Very pigmented. I am just slowly building it up because I'm trying to... I've learnt my lesson with that purple. Ooh, that's pretty. Now, guys, all these shades, I've actually been looking at the card before I apply them. And Slasher, Bend and Snap, and this Ill, all are suggested to do it with a brush. So this has a finger or brush little um, picture. So finger and brush or just brush. And I'm trying to follow that because I want to give it a fair go with the way it's suggested to be used, if that makes sense. And Nikki put that in because she wanted people to get the best application of each shade and to get the best result. And sorry, my housemate is cleaning the kitchen as we speak. So if you can hear some banging, that is what's happening back there. All right, guys, I am loving that color. That color, eel, beautiful. It's not as pigmented as, say, the purple, but I also did go very lightly because I learnt my lesson from the purple shade um, Slasher. So yeah, I'm just really loving the way that looks and I've blended it out. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that blend. Um, I can work on it a little bit later. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with this beautiful shade Redemption, which is that orange shade. Now that is a true orange. And I'm just going to go, see, see that's orange. Um, I'm going to go very lightly. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner of this purple and I just want to blend that in because like I said I love color Nikki tutorial is all about color let's use some color in this look oh god look how pretty that is oh god. lens like a dream again I am putting a little bit just a little bit look how pretty that is guys mm. and I'm just blending it out towards the green as well so that kind of all just marry together and hopefully they don't turn into brown because that would that would be very depressing for me oh okay i put a little bit too much on this side blend that out that's, mm, that's pretty all right guys so i'm back and i just finished doing my eyes now i actually did a cut crease off camera because i wanted to save some time and really focus on this palette 
So I've done a cut crease. It took me a while to do. Um, but yeah, I'm liking the way it kind of looks. It is quite a big cut crease, but that's all right. We are going for the full drag kind of look. And now, guys, I'm going to go in with these two shimmers. I'm going to do the blue on the outer corner of the eye, and I'm going to do the pink in the inner corner of the eye, and I'm going to blend those two together because, you know, we love a good blend. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. Now, guys, on the card, they do suggest applying with a finger or a brush. I'm going to apply with a finger, and then I'm going to do more of the finer work with a brush. Now, I will use a packing brush, and I might have to spray it with setting spray, but we'll, we'll do the finger first. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Why am I tapping my finger up on the mirror? That's just weird. Oh. Now guys, I did set my um, crease with some setting powder. Wow, guys, that's so pretty. I'm trying not to get too much fallout, but there is fallout on my cheeks already. Oh, I'm hoping that will um, sweep away. But so far, wow, look how pretty that is, guys. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a bit chunky, guys. I'm probably putting too much on my finger at a time. So I'm just going to go lightly now because I don't want too much fallout. out there. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of fallout out there. I'm going to have to clean that up. Guys, there's a lot of fallout out on the outer corner of my eye. I'm not loving that. So what I might quickly do is brush this off and set under my eyes, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've put that translucent setting powder. I use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. To catch any more fallout and guys let's get straight back into the palette okay so i'm going to go back into that blue shimmer shade mama tutorials and i'm going to use a packing brush and i might spray it first oh that's a lot dab that off and i'm just going to pack that on with the m508 brush i'm just going to tap off the excess and i'm going to see if that works this does that do anything? Hmm. Okay, I don't know if that's actually done anything. Uh, little bit, little bit, little bit. There we go. So I'm just tracing that cut crease line. Oh, that's so pretty, guys. I'm so happy with that. All right, guys, I'm just going to quickly switch to this silicone brush from the Morphe X Sweetie Collection. I just find it might be a little easier to apply. So I'm picking up a little product at a time. And I just want to blend it out on the actual eyelid. You can blend out really easily with this tool. And that's why I got this collection, just for this tool. So pretty. All right, now I'm going to go in with the shade Pride, which is the beautiful pink shimmer. Oh, and I'm going to put that on the inner corner of the eye. Whoa. And I'm just going to blend those two out as well. Yeah, I love this tool. So, so good. It's so handy. Don't have to wet it with a setting spray. Because it's a silicone little brush applicator, it just picks it up and blends it out so much easier than a brush sometimes. And, yeah, look how pretty that is. I love that pink. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, guys, I'm really happy with the way that looks. So now I'm going to go with this NYX white liner. Um, it's in the shade white. And I want to trace where that cut crease is. I've not tried this before. I'm really hoping that I don't ruin the look because I have worked hard on it. Um, so, yeah, let's try this. Oh, I've got some on my nose already. I know that's Trendler's and Sitting Powder. All right, let's try God, I'm holding my breath, guys. I'm just going to clean it off every time I do it because I'm starting to get some of that pink on there. I kind of wish I had the liquid liner for this. Oh, it's looking a bit chunky. I don't want it to be chunky. I want it to be nice and fine. So guys, I am back and I finished both eyes off camera. I love the way that white looks. 
It's not the best line. Um, I do need to get a couple of liquid liners to do that because these eyeliners, they just keep breaking off. So it wasn't the smoothest line. But I love the way it looks. Um, and for my first attempt, it's okay. And also guys, I did do the bottom lash line off camera and I just used that red shade um, mica. I think that's how I'm saying it. If I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. But I love the way that blended. It's so pigmented. Um, and now I just want to do a very quick shimmer shade in the inner corner of the eye. And that's this one here, which is um, Ivy, I-V-Y. I think that's how you say it. And I'm just going to apply that very, very... Actually, I should spray this brush first. Spray it. Oh, that's a lot. And I just want to apply it with this Morphe brush, which is the M508. I just want to quickly apply it there. Oh, Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. I can't. Can you see it? Oh yeah, it's kind of, it's actually making the white liner look really pigmented. That's pretty. All right, just do that eye as well. Just to highlight the inner corner of the eye. Ooh, ooh I'm loving that. All right, guys, I'm really happy with the way that looks. I use that shade on the brow bone as a highlighter as well. So I'm happy with the way that looks. And now I'm just gonna pop off camera, put some lashes and some lipstick on, and then we'll come back and we'll do some blush, some highlighter, and then I'll tell you my final thoughts on this palette. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so I'm back and I am loving these lashes. Now these lashes are from Cosmetic London. That brand, because I can't say it, I'm not even going to try. It is the Mink effect lashes um yeah i love them i'm guessing that's the style lux so i love them because the band is very thin and very easy to apply and for lipstick i use this one here i bought this today for like six dollars it was half price from chemist warehouse the shade name is which is l'oreal paris i speak up 106 i wanted a bold bright lip just because of this look is kind of bold and bright all right, guys, so now it's time for blush. So I'm going to put some blush on from this Benefit Cosmetic Face Contour Blush Highlighter Palette. Now, I did use these two shades for my bronzer on my cheeks and my temples already. Um, I did that before I actually did my look, but now I'm gonna do some blush. Um, I always do the blush last because if I do have to bake under my eyes to catch any fallout, um, I find that it kind of dulls down the blush, so I always put the blush on last. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so I'm just quickly building that up, and then we'll get on with a highlighter. And now, guys, highlighter, I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution London. It is in the shade Set in Tone. Guys, look how pretty it is. I don't know, the lights are bright. This is like the white highlighter. I've got the champagne shade in this highlighter, and I love that, so I wanted to get this because it was $5 from Priceline. I was like, mm. I know the first one works really well, so let's try this one. Ooh, just swirling it on my new highlighter brush from the Jeffree Star collection. It's got for half price. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. Very, very, very soft, very light, but you can build it up. Oh, look at that. Now, just a little bit above here. Oh, I'm so glad I picked up this highlighter. I'm definitely going to be using this one. All right, guys, the highlighter is done, and I love that highlighter. Look how pretty that is. Now I'm going to set my face with this Morphe Continual Setting Spray quickly. All right, guys, so that is the finished look. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Let's talk about this palette. Now, this palette, it's, it's amazing. Like... Pan sizes are huge. Belly for money is huge. These shimmers applied so pretty. There was a bit of fallout with this blue shimmer and I did have to bake under the eyes to catch that fallout. But other than that, it worked amazingly. It's so pigmented. The pride shade, which was the pink pride shade, applied really nicely as well. The shimmers are so creamy and so buttery. I love the formula so much. And then the matte skies are amazing. Like the pigment is so pretty. I did have a little bit of trouble blending out this shade Slasher um, at the start, but I did manage to make it work, which is great. Every other shade, I didn't have any problems um, blending out. There was a little bit of kickback in this palette, 
but it's not too bad. The only thing with that is I feel like you can't really use the mirror and hold it up like that because you'll get all the product fallout on your lap and your clothes um, just because there is a bit of fallout in this palette. Other than that though, I love this palette so much. And guys, I used a whole lot of colors. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I used eight shades in this palette out of 20, which I think is great. All in all, guys, I love this palette so much. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Packaging-wise, formula-wise, pigment-wise, product-wise, it's just, love it so much, guys. All right, guys, so that is the end of this makeup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button, give the notification bell a little hit because that would help me out as well. If you've got any questions, leave a comment down below as well. Check out my Instagram guys as well because I do post a lot of things I don't film on there. And I also do a lot of giveaways through my Instagram. So check that out. And guys, till next time, I will see you later. Oh my love, bye.